London Warriors 37 to 7 in an incredible game. I'm just going to pause for a minute as the bagpipes play. Soak in the atmosphere. Fantastic. So the Manchester Titans took the Brit Bowl title number 34 over the London Warriors last night and then this morning, if you were Wizards from midday, we saw the Highland Stags taking on the Bristol Apache in our first technically international game of the weekend, England versus Scotland. And it was the English team from Bristol who ran out winners of that Division 2 title. And now we see our second international of the weekend. The East Kilbride Pirates, who run towards their sideline, technically the home team in this fixture, and they brought a lot of travelling support with them, as they always do, wherever they play. The storied franchise. What goes around comes around. He was one of my ex-players at the Nottingham Caesars Juniors back in the day. Let's enjoy the national anthems. Those of you who know the... Let's see whether this one goes to Bailey. And it does head Bailey's way. And Struan Bailey fields in his 10-yard line. Sees what his options are, and he's got a lane straight away. He's out past the 45, into catch territory. He's at the 20, the 10. Touchdown, EKP. No flags. Wow. Blown open right from the off call. Ah, goosebumps already, this crowd's gone crazy, they've travelled a long way, all that pent-up energy on the coach coming down. First down, Rivet again to the air, swings it out to the flats and has a man, 24 for the Cats, is Mark Womble. And Womble, another man, linebackers three, four yards away from the line of scrimmage, here comes the motion, and this time it's flipped on a kind of jet sweep but the EKP way Let's see how the Cats respond and Baptiste is going to the air now he has the roll to his left keeps his eyes downfield and he's going up top he has a man and it's complete inside the 30 to the 27 yard line at number 30 is a running back for the Pirates we'll try and get that for you as much as we can Baptiste with a long second and 20 he's going to the air again and he flips it down the seam and the receiver Hayes does manage to hang on this time and Rob Hayes picks up Baptiste surveys his options once again same play as before ball up the middle no signal yet still no signal from the officials Dougie Meekin with the carry and he is literally half a yard away Carl here's the replay yeah, there's just a great run up the middle, burst of speed. And just stretching out is Meek, and he's trying to. Maybe if he'd been an inch taller, he would have got that one. Second and goal from the half-yard mark. Couldn't really get any closer. Here he goes. He can get closer because he can get in. Great deception on the run, and Meekin doubles the score for the Pirates. As long as that extra point can go through. Let's see what Rivet and the offence can do in his absence. Play action. Ball over the middle. Lovely, beautifully done by Rivet. Over the outstretched hand of the linebacker. And find... Still no Michael Johnson. Rivet again looks to the flats, then goes up top. And he has a man, and that's well defended. Kerr Stewart knocks the ball away at the last moment. Of urgency already in this Division 1 bowl game. Play action. Pressure coming. And he can't elude that pressure. And down he goes under the weight of Andrew Meekin, number 97. <laughs> no right. worries, no worries. Easy to do at this pace. 
So much to look at as Bapti pitches the ball out to the left this time. See if there's any more daylight there, and there is. But the ball pops loose, and it's still live. But the Pirates recover, and as we... Perfect conditions on the field. Pretty good conditions up in the commentary booth as well, as Rivet hits his man in the flat there on a quick out. You, so not only do you score two points, but you also get in possession. Rivet now looking to try and avoid that outcome. And it's going to be very close as to whether he has done or not, as he's met on the goal line by a bunch of Pirates. But actually... He's been ripped loose by the looks of things. And that is a touchdown! That is an EKP touchdown. And I called his name a couple of minutes ago. Mark Stewart, leader in sack. 100% just from kickoff, and that is such a great play. The play is being reviewed for progress and for potential personal foul. If special teams TD, offensive TD, defensive TD, all in the first quarter. Yeah, you can see the uh, our review officials looking at it. Great camera work here from our onside production crew to give us these looks. Now, where's, where's the, the personal, personal foul? foul? I'm not seeing anything on there. I am seeing a great play to push the quarterback the review, out. The end Here we go. There was no personal foul. However, the runner's progress was stopped at the one yard line before the ball was stripped. It will be fourth down there to Cambridge. So before that, it'd be two points to EKP, and the Cats would have to then kick the ball back. But he does manage to get the punt away. It's a good punt. It lands at the 40, and then Strew and Bailey picks it up at speed. Gets down to the 20. Motion to give Bapti trips on the left-hand side. Empty backfield. He goes out to the left. And he finds a receiver who cuts his way in field. Remains on his feet inside the 10. And he's still on his feet. Cannot be dragged down. And now the big linemen come to push the pile. And back he goes. But that is going to be a first down again. Approaching worrying times for the Cats. Particularly if EKP can convert here. And untouched goes that... Running back of no name, number 30, EKP. 20 points to zero. Run the same play again. Black wave from north of the border to the air again, Rivet, and he has to step up and he puts the ball up, but that's absolutely miscommunication. Witty. Quarterback once again, two receivers either side, that the ball is handed off on first down. It's not though, because that's a great bit of deception by Bapti. Pulled that ball at the last second. And 10, they're in 44, Bapti to the air again. Steps up, fakes the pass, steps up, and then he's slung to the ground. And that's Ben Bailey with the sack. Either a draw, or a screen, or a little jailbreak screen out to Strew and Bailey, who can bust this loose. And that's right in front of our commentary petition, and I think he's just shy of the first down. The Pirates will be sitting pretty and really pleased with how they've started. A little reverse, and around reverse, which doesn't really fool anybody to start with. But then it's Ryan Miller. Bapti hands the ball off to Black. Black bounces outside to the right, tries to hurdle the man and gets upended at the 10. Good hustle from the Cats. Malika Dai coming up. 20 yards to contend with. Rivet throws it out nice and quickly out of his hands. And receiver picks up a yard. We've got left and on this set of downs they did a lot better with that second down pass another big third down going up top and does have a man and that's a fantastic reception what a grabbing traffic play by james horn to breathe life into the cats straight back to live action rivet again oh really good catch and did very well to hold on as well that t back on the field for the pirates and he pitches it this out to meekin and meekin Lovely juking, jinking run. Steps offense didn't really give the Cats defense a lot of time to get a breather as uh, Greg Black goes round right end and he's clear. Back to live action. First and eight after the penalty. Bapti straight back to the air and he drops back and he has time and he finds the same man. No, it's number 86. My mistake. Confused the six for a nine from McDonald to Black. 
to Black in the backfield to this man, Struan Bailey. On a little jailbreak screen once again. He's inside the 20. He's still on his feet and he scoots through. No flags. Touchdown, Pirates. Struan Bailey's second touchdown of the afternoon. Good question. Let's come back to it. Look at that defense. Womble nowhere to go. Dragged down for a loss of three on second down. Andrew Mead. Version desperately here to give the defense a rest, but also give them. Any oh! Guess who? My days. Guess who? Mark Stewart. Stevens to the right, Carl. And the motion. Meekin to the left. And there's that jailbreak screen that they scored on prior. And Struan Bailey's got room in front of him again. And he's on his feet at the 30. Picked up a first down and smashed down at the 33-yard line. And celebrating. Great work again from the offensive line of the Pirates. Ball handed off this time. Meekin with the carry. Steps out of a tackle. Straight down the middle. Lowers the boom. Gets past the 40. Past the 45. Two yards short of mid. Empty backfield once again. So Baptiste going to the air and in and out of the hands and it's intercepted. And this could be a lifeline for the Cats. Number 44 steps inside, stays on his feet. And Baptiste picked off for the first time. Glutton's had four interceptions up to this point for 41 yards. Rivet to the air. Pressure coming. Got a man inside the 10. First down, Cats. Second and goal from the nine rivet immediately faces pressure and he tries to step up and then puts the ball over the top over the top of everybody hope for the cats into the hands of horn again and he's dragged down a yard short in fact it's not horn that time it's neil dempsey and it's turnover on down for the pirates do the cats bring pressure here on bapti First down, Bapti to the air, and he's going up top, and that's intercepted again! Bapti, back-to-back interceptions, it's McLaughlin once more! And that looked like a receiver. Rivet with trips to his left. Everyone coming. Steps up again, he's in trouble, and he's going down. No, he's not, he is now. First time, he's into. Oh, my word! Oh, everyone. Second and ten, Rivet with those three Here men outside come. him. He's going upstairs once again, and that's going to be in and out of the hands. The Cats half. Play action once again. Bapti forced to roll again, and he now is trying to make one man miss, and he does. And he's now in the land of linebackers on the edge. He picks up four or five yards, and you know the Cats are trying to rip that ball down. But never. Which obviously is just unsettling him a little bit. Hayes in motion. Bapti. Hands off this time, and there is space now. Bouncing outside is Black, and Black is not going to pick up the first down, but it... And it's a little pitch out to the left. How well can the Cats defend it? Not well enough. First down, EKP. Anything's possible. EKP score again here. Well, it could be the end. Swinging the ball out to Black. And Black makes a nice cut, and another one. And picks up five, maybe six yards ominously into the red zone once again. Bapti ominously to the air, goes over the top, completely unmarked. Sidesteps the man, and EKP in the shape of Andrew McBride. Tag on another touchdown in this D1. They're losing it 7 6, Carl. Let's see what Rivet can do about that low handoff. But the ball is handed off, and plenty of room for the running back. That running back, Mark Womble. Give me my mistake for the Cats. Move the ball well, and Rivet gets that ball away, and it's Michael Johnson once again. And Johnson picks up the second. 100%. Still giving his all. To the air again, going over the top, and it's intercepted. Athletically done by Marcus Galanti. And just when you think the Cats have got something going, first down Pirates. Still going to the air. Finds his man in the middle and it's ripped out. Good reception initially by Craig Black. Different story. Johnson in the slot at the bottom of your screen. And there he goes and they try and get it to him and they do and he's in acres of space. Makes one mass miss. Makes another man miss. He's rangy. He's close. 
And he's down inside. A little tingle down my spine, Carl. That was a fantastic moment. Here we go then, Rivets in the offence. Oh, fumble, Rivet can't handle the snap and it's just sitting there. And there's another turnover for Michael Gervin. Johnny on the spot, drops on the football. Which way is this one going to go? Bapti hands the ball off. Nice little step out to the 25, down at the 28 yard line. Goes Meekin. And that's going to be enough for a first down again. So third and six, another big play for both teams. Cats have got to still believe they'll toss sweep. And uh, Meekin does ever so well, weaving and winding. Not only has a running back alongside him, but he also has Craig Black there as the ball is handed off. To Meekin, and Meekin dances inside the 30, down to the 20, pushed out of bounds just inside the red zone. 28-yard line, well, where the kicker kicking is from the 35, had 10 yards on for the end zone. Oh, it's a little fake, and now a pass, and EKP going for the jugular. Are they going to get this first down? It's going to be... So Donald. McDonald's second... Second and ten, man in motion, Donald going to the air again. And he completes this pass this time. Out of bounds, just inside the ten. Which is now put right. Trips to the left. Black came into the backfield, pressure in his face. And this one is caught! And it's caught inside the one, which will give them first and goal. Incredible! Give us something to cheer about. Ball handed off this time. Are you going to do well to keep that man out of the end zone? Falls across the line. Greg Black, EKP, over 40. Third rushing touchdown of the day, second for Black. Flags again, but that will be after the play, I would have thought. Wait to sort this one out on the field. Discussion still taking place with Keith Wickham. Here we go. Ready to give us the call. I would have thought on sports from light conduct once again. The score is good. After the score, we have penalties by off both teams, which will offset. We have a personal foul by red, a personal foul by black. That's offset. Here, they've achieved their season goal of making it up to the next level. You've got a beautiful evening. You're in North London. Enjoy the last few minutes of this one. Fielded by Coyote. And Coyote fumbles the football. And it is recovered by EKP. Of a TV replay monitor to help us. Bapti hands the ball off, although he doesn't, he keeps it. And he's got space to the outside. And he makes one man miss. He goes upstairs and tries to hurdle the second man. They still want to get as much points as they can. Oh, and uh, Meekin makes three men miss. And he now bounces outside, heads to the end zone. No flags. Touchdown, Pirates. Meekin with his second rushing score of the afternoon. Two for Black, two for Meekin. Hard to separate them, isn't it? Black and Meekin, two scores each and trick plays. They go for two to EKP and they're going to give that because that will take them to a 50 burger in the National Div 1 final for EKP and that is Scott McKick. Well-oiled machine. Rivet to the air once again. Completes his pass. And that's a Cats first down. Nice reception there from back down. But then you turn your eye attention to the offence as Rivet steps up and looks over the top and he makes a beautiful completion. And he's in space. He's broken free. And Horn stutters at the 10. Gets inside the 5. Touchdown, Cats!
Incredible effort! Meekin and Black who have got two scores apiece. You've obviously got Bapti, who's got another completion there. And a lovely step from McKigan. McKigan picks up another first down, but yeah, Bapti go in. And there's a, a flurry of activity on the line. And that is that. That is the end of the game. Our running clock has crept upon us. Moment. And our MVP for the D1 final is quarterback number 13, Neil Bapti. Congratulations to Neil and all the East Kilbride Pirates on what could be described as an exhibition of football. And now, here comes Coach McGowan. Let's raise the roof, London. Your Division One National Champions 2022, the East Kilbride Pirates.